Hi there, and welcome to theclearskinessentials.com. I'm Natasha St. Michael. And today I want to talk about how to navigate like all the conflicting diet information out there. Um, recently, one of our subscribers left a comment saying she just feels so overwhelmed and frustrated and just confused because different health experts are saying certain foods are good for you and then other health experts are saying it's terrible and what to do. This, I understand this. I, I think anyone that's on a path of improving their diet and their lifestyle will at some point or another just feel overwhelmed and confused by all the health information out there, especially with the internet today and how easy it is to access information. Um, one thing that I always do whenever I start feeling confused or just unsure of like what I'm doing, is it good or is it bad? Um, I always come back to center and I always come back to myself. And the first thing I ask myself is, what's the number one health condition or health goal that I, I'm, I'm working towards or I'm working on right now? What's the number one thing that's like right here that I need to deal with right now? And from that, I ask myself, what are the foods that are working against me? What are the foods that are just making this health condition worse? And what are the foods that are making it better for me? And the rest of the stuff, all that other information that's around you, that's to me like noise. <laughs> and you gotta just kind of put the volume down on it and focus on that. Focus on what you know is working for you and what is working against you and what you're working towards. Because a lot of times I feel that we get overwhelmed and confused by all the conflicting information out there when we're too focused on that information and we're, we, we forget about, well, what is our body saying now when we eat these foods? What is our body saying when we don't eat those foods? Is it getting better or is it getting worse? And you're much better listening to your body and how your body is responding or reacting to something than what someone's theory is. Because at the end of the day, it is theory. And different foods react differently to different people. It's like some people have an allergy to a food. So whenever they eat that certain food, they get all these like different types of symptoms and someone else doesn't have an allergy to that food and that food works great for them and they feel healthy and, and wonderful eating those foods. So we can't necessarily say those foods are bad. It's just, it could be bad for one person and good for another. And I would say in general, most or if not all natural foods are, are nutritious, they're wonderful. They all contain vitamins, minerals, amino acids, healthy fats, like antioxidants, wonderful stuff. But not every single food is great for everyone. And it's not to say that something's a bad food, it's just for some people good, some people bad. And one thing I like to remind everyone too is that the information that I share here at the Clear Skin Essentials and the advice I give on diet and skincare and lifestyle is directly for those of you that got adult acne, you've got breakouts, whether it's chronic breakouts or it could be monthly hormonal breakouts. Um, it's for all of you that want clearer skin. And sometimes we also talk a little bit about anti-aging, but in general, all the advice I'm giving is for, for those of you that want better skin, you wanna clear up your skin, you wanna get rid of the breakouts and the acne. And the advice I'm giving with avoiding certain foods and eating more of other foods is specifically to help improve the condition of your skin. But if you don't have acne, you never get breakouts and you got completely clear skin, I don't think you need to be avoiding the foods that I'm telling someone that's got acne to avoid. I really don't. And I think these days there's so much information about what people should be eating more of to get healthier and what they should be avoiding. I just see too many people cutting food groups out of their diet that they don't need to cut out because they're not allergic to it. They have no sensitivity to it. They have no health condition that, that it's disrupting. So why cut it out of your diet? And a lot of times it's because it's a trend and, and everyone else is doing it, but it's not adversely affecting you. And I just find in general, I would say to anyone that is healthy and has absolutely no health condition, is that they should be eating as much variety and abundance of different foods as opposed to cutting things out and limiting things and, and all of that. 
Oh, and the thing is, is that if it works for you, great, keep going with it. If it doesn't work for you, then you gotta move on from it, take a break. I see with like a lot of people with acne and breakouts, a lot of times is that at first, especially when they're like dealing with a lot of flare ups and a lot of inflammation in the skin and redness and irritation in their skin just is, is hurting. Now they gotta cut out quite a few foods to take a break from it, to allow their body to rebalance to recalibrate to get their digestion and their immune system and and it, like their hormones everything balanced again and then later on once they're healthy again and their skin is healthy and cleared up then it's amazing to see how certain foods they're you know, no longer adversely affect them no longer give them breakouts and they can eat again I know for myself when I had really bad acne I had to avoid a lot of foods in order to clear up my skin but now like, 10 years later a lot of those foods I eat again, I have no problem eating. But years ago, I couldn't go near them. The moment I'd have them, I'd get breakouts. And then there are still some foods that are health foods that still, <laughs> at age 42, still give me breakouts. And I can give the example of raw cacao or raw chocolate. I can eat raw chocolate like once in a while, no problem. But the moment I have it like two days in a row, I get huge, huge like cystic pimples. It's a given for me. It's, and the interesting thing is that if I have just a regular chocolate bar, I don't get pimples from that. But the raw chocolate I do. And it's always if I have it two days in a row or three days in a row, then I run into big problems. And in my opinion, raw chocolate, it's got great amount of nutrition in it, right? For some people, they view it as a superfood because it's got so much magnesium in it and antioxidants and all this wonderful stuff. But unfortunately, it just doesn't agree with my body and I get really bad pimples from it. So I'm not saying it's a terrible food. I'm just saying it's terrible for my skin. <laughs> and that's me, but someone else can eat raw chocolate and have absolutely no problem. And in fact, it makes their skin and their complexion like more rosy and great. And they feel wonderful eating it. So each person, it's different. And that's why I always want to remind people is it's always to bring yourself back to center. It's about your situation, not everyone else's situation. It's about your health. What are your health goals and your health challenges? And what you can do right now for you. Doesn't matter about your neighbor, doesn't matter about your friends, it doesn't matter about what everyone else is following. And once you're back at center with that, it becomes a lot easier to decide and make decisions every day and it's so much less overwhelming. All right, so these are my tips for you. And if you enjoy this video, please like it, please subscribe to my channel. And if it is new to you of improving your diet for clear skin, I recommend taking my free email course because it's got a bunch of tips for you on what to do with your diet and skincare routine to clear up your skin. And then I also offer two courses on what to do with your diet to also help clear up breakouts and adult acne. There's a beginner course and also an advanced course and I'll put the information below. All right, so wishing you a fabulous day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.